We're gonna start today's vlog off by unboxing something that I received from a fellow YouTuber. You may have seen some of his videos. He does a phenomenal job with the Civic Type R. His YouTube username is Torque Toolbox. This this is not this is not something small. So this is why I'm making a big deal out of this. It doesn't even feel right. It doesn't it doesn't feel right that he sent me this. But he's he's a really nice guy. His name's John. When I actually started making videos with this car like seven months ago, I would see comments from his channel on my videos. And then uh, he was the one who, you know, followed me on Instagram first and then sent me a message first. And um, anyway, phenomenal guy. So you guys are not going to believe what this is. It's, it's actually, it's ridiculous. It's a nice guy, man. You guys remember about a month ago when my car was broken into, right? Right in this exact same spot, to the T. My GoPro was stolen. He sent me his GoPro Hero 5. And, th dude, this is, this is too much, man. <laughs> John, I know you're watching this. This is, this is ridiculous, man. Like, you, I know you know you didn't have to do this. But this is, I mean, you, this is crazy. Thank you very much, John. I will do something for you. Send you something, do something. It's gonna happen. So, things we're gonna need. Black plastic dip, masking tape, emblems. And I'm gonna show you guys right here how I got this tape back on. Okay, so we have our two badges right here. This one still has a little bit of 3M tape left on it, so I just need to make sure I get that all off. Here's the edge, and it, uh, you can barely see it on camera, but it's probably like a millimeter or two deep, and that is where we need to put the tape. The way I'm going to do that, I have an X-Acto knife here. I couldn't find any 3M tape in person, like physically near me, so Walmart had this Gorilla mounting tape, and it looks pretty thick. Okay, I didn't really think this through. All right, well, I guess what I'm going to do is just make a make a cut. So I'm gonna go all the way from the edge to right about here. Awesome. Mm, there's still a pretty good amount of stick left to it. This is Gorilla Tape, so should be decent. Just like that. So now I'm gonna do it for the other four sides and I'll show you guys how it comes out. That's what one of them looks like. And I don't have any newspaper, so I'm gonna use notebook paper. Oh, also, the most important thing, the most important thing if you're plasti dipping, if you're an adult and you're gonna stoop as low as plasti dipping, at least get yourself the glossifier to put on top, okay? So we're gonna do it the right way. All right, guys, let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do is take a microfiber towel and make sure this is very dry and very clean so the tape will stick. I'm gonna take my first victim. Uh, I'm gonna say I have one chance. Poke, poke. I think that's perfect. Make sure she's on real good. Now I'm gonna give it a wipe because it's actually very dirty. I, I should have washed this with isopropyl alcohol before. So right before this video, I did go through a touchless car wash and uh, it really sucks. I really hate living in an apartment. I think the next apartment that Vivian and I are moving to uh, in a few weeks, I think it has a car washing like section. Okay, let's stick this one on. I ain't got time to play games. Let's just go. There. Well, I'll tell you what, it already looks a heck of a lot better just with the emblems on. So, not really optimal temperatures. You want to keep it like six to eight inches away and just kind of there. This is not going to be anywhere near perfect, but we're running out of daylight and I'm running out of patience. Let's 
That's good enough for coat one. You want to let it sit for as long as it takes to dry so that when you go and like touch it with your finger, nothing comes up. How long is that realistically? In this weather, it's like, I don't know, probably still 80 something degrees out. Give it, give it a few minutes. It's only been about three or four minutes. Uh, so I just, wanted, I just wanted to note that I started this at 8.25 p.m. Let's get number three. I'm probably gonna do, I don't know, six or seven. Uh, after you do your first two coats, you can put on some thicker ones. So instead of going sideways now, I'm going to do diagonal, the next time I'm gonna do this, and the next time I'm gonna do up and down. So just mix it up, mix up your directions. be enough. I'll do a really thick sixth coat. Also, some of you may notice in the last video, but I did not use any curse words. No, no, like no matter how big or small, I didn't use any curse words. Let me know if you guys appreciate that. I, I got some comments on the video where I installed the Fearable Tune and uh, some people were not very happy at all with my language. All right, it's dry already, miraculously, so it only takes like three minutes, two, three minutes to dry. Okay, so I'm gonna do two coats of Glossifier. Uh, if you have a mask, like this isn't a joke, if you do have a mask, I definitely recommend wearing one. I should have worn one. I've been breathing in this plastic, chemical make sure this entire time so don't be like me learn from my mistakes as always guys okay she's done i told you guys i started at 825 it is 848 so that took 23 minutes to complete the entire well the entire spray process if you want to get smart and mask off more you you really should because there is some plasti dip residue here and it, it comes off very easily so i'm pretty sure Next time I give it a good wash, I'll be able to get it off. But, you know, if you can avoid that, just just avoid it. You also shouldn't be doing this outside on the street where there's wind. You should be doing it inside, but you know. Do you see my garage anywhere? Do you see my house anywhere? No! Why? Because I don't make enough money. Here we are, the next morning. This is very easy. Man, this really does not look the best with a gross front bumper. I'm just peeling this off, man. It's separating by itself at the seam. You know, for the most part, that looks pretty good. I think I am gonna get in here with some sort of tool and get that out of the of the the bot the back here because it just that just doesn't look good. Here we are, guys. It's all done. Let me know down in the comments if you think I should take the black out of these areas right here and just have the emblem itself black. I think it looks pretty good. Definitely looks way better than the past couple weeks that I've been driving without an emblem at all. The front just really blends in. I'm sorry that the car's a mess. It's probably bugging a few people. It bugs me. That looks pretty cool. I'm gonna end this video right here. Thank you very much again, John, for the K2 and the GoPro, that's crazy. I'm definitely not gonna use the version two that he sent until Vivian and I move to a nicer area. So a few more weeks and then probably in the middle of July or the end of the July, I'm going to give away my K2 and version 1.2. So details on that will be, you know, sometime in the next three, four weeks, two, three weeks. And uh, also one more thing. I'm thinking about going to Race Wars. 
just for fun. I mean, I know I'm not gonna win anything. If anything, I would probably lose my first, in the first round. But Race Wars is at Sacramento uh, Speedway on August 22nd. And, you know, I'll have my intercooler on for sure by then. I'll probably have enough money for either like a downpipe in the front pipe or a clutch. So the clutch is gonna be a super expensive thing. If anybody has installed the Type R retrofit clutch themselves, can you please like DM me or let me know how the process went? I'm very interested to see how that could go. Let me know. I have to obviously do some more research, but I just, I like to ask you guys. I like to ask you guys. Hey, come on. So take it easy. All right. Well, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.